Hey guys, it's Matt. Uh, today I want to show you guys a really easy way to do vector cross products. Um, this is the way that I learned how to do it. It's like a shortcut. Instead of drawing the whole determinant of a matrix stuff, like that's a pain. That takes so much time. This is a nice little shortcut to make it take a couple less steps and to make it really simple. So the first thing you got to do, like we got these two vectors, right? Um, a is 2, 3, 5, and then B is 1, negative 3, 4. So the first thing you want to do, like step zero, uh, so this is um, the A vector, and we've got 2, 3, 5, right? And remember, the first term is going to be I. That's what we're going to call this. The second term is going to be our J, and then the third term is going to be our K. And with B, same deal. First term is I, second term is J, third term is K. I, J, and K are unit vectors in that direction. So sometimes you might see this as X, Y, or Z, but we're going to use it as I, J, and K, right? Because this could be 2X, 3Y, 5Z. We're going to look at the I, J, and K form. doesn't really make a difference. This is like the standard, though. So we're going to rewrite this A. This A vector, we're writing it really quick. A is 2i plus 3j plus 5k. Cool. Now B is going to be 1i. He only has 1i. That's kind of sad. Net minus 3j and then 4 whole k's. Wow. Cool. So to do this cross product, which remember looks like a x b, that's not an x, that's a cross. Very different. It's not an x. That's like part of why you don't want to use x and y and z and stuff, because yeah, it gets confusing. I j and k, you can't mess up. There's no like a i b, right? I mean, there's you know imaginary i's, but just forget those exist right now. Anyway, so this cross product, right? What you do is you, um, first you write out i, j, and k. So we just have to know we're working with those. So to remind us, and to like make sure the math works, we're gonna write out i, j, and k. That's gonna be our first row of this guy. We're actually gonna make like a square. Then under that, you do the one that's on the left. It, you always start with the one that's on the left for the cross product. So a cross product does not, um, it's not commutative. So the order of the terms matters. It's not like two times three is the same as three times two. A cross B is not the same as B cross A. That's act they're actually gonna be like opposite directions. So you would like totally mess up if you did that. So start with the one on the left. We do the I term under I, J term under J, and then the K term under K. There, that's A, two, three, five. Then under that, you put B. I term, J term, K term. Then we just draw these little lines just to make sure we keep them in this box. That's really cool. So this actually makes a matrix, which I'm not going to explain that right now, but there's a way to solve this using matrices, which we're kind of doing, but this is a shortcut to do that. So after you make our little matrix, we're going to add on a bit to it. This is where it kind of differs from the matrix solution. So after that, we're going to add another I and another J column. And because we're doing the I's again, we take the AI and the BI. And then for the J's, we take the AJ. What's up, AJ? And the, the B. I'm not going to say that one. <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah, after that, we're going to do this. So the next step is to draw diagonal arrows across the square. You can either start at the top or the bottom. I'm going to start at the bottom. I started at the bottom. Now I'm here, and I'm wondering what to do next. So start in this bottom left corner. You see this 1? So you can draw a diagonal line from the 1 up to that K and draw like an arrow through it. Then go to the next term. Negative 3, we're going to draw that up through the I. And then that 4, draw it through the J. All right, cool. And we're going to call these our negatives. So these are our negative arrows. That's also really important. 
start at the bottom. So I have like some way to remember this. Start at the bottom, it's negative. And then if you start at the top, like at this I, you can kind of guess. So it's actually going to be positives. So here we go. Do the same deal. Diagonal from the top. I'm using colors so it's easier to tell. You can just either like you can use a pen or something or like just have some way draw the lines make sure you can still read your numbers after drawing the lines i've messed up and like made it unreadable before but um yeah just be careful oh yeah and these are our positives not a one it's positive there we go there we go see i got all the moving parts all right so then you want to like ha there's a point to doing this so you actually are going to multiply across these lines and I'll show you how to do that. So let's start with our positives. I like to start with the positives just because they're positive and I'm a positive person. So I'm going to pick those. So let's see, we're going to go I times three times four. Cool. That's simple enough. And then J you're going to add that to J times five times one. See that? And finally, k times 2 times negative 3. That's a 3. I hope you can tell. Then you want to multiply these out. I'm doing this step by step just so you guys don't miss anything. I don't want to feel like, you know, don't want you guys to feel like I'm skipping a step. Because you can do a lot of this in your head and you can jump to the next step. But for this example, I want to write it out so you guys see, right? So we got. 3 times 4 is 12, 12i, 5 times 1 is 5j, and then 2 times negative 3 minus 6k. Cool. That's our positives. You can like draw a little line under that. Then we got our negatives. So negatives. All right. Start at the bottom. Now we're here. 1 times 3 times k. Then add negative 3 times 5 times i. Then we add 4 times 2 times j. All right, now let's combine those. I, I like to write it in the order of like i, j, k. I just, that makes a lot of sense to me. So let's do this first. Negative 3 times 5 is minus 15i. Then we got four times two times j is eight j. That's an eight. Then we got one times three times k plus three k. Cool. Now we have these two like halves. This, these are like halves of our solution. We got the positive and the negative half. Okay, so then we got our positive and our negative. Then we take them over here and combine them. So we've got our positive up here. And then we subtract our negative. I know this is confusing, but just look at the signs over here. So we got our positive, then subtract our negative. So we minus Right, so we got minus this term, minus this term, minus this term. And what do we get? We get 12 minus negative 15 is positive 27i. 5 minus 8 is negative 3j. And then negative 6 minus 3 is negative 9k. All right, so that is our, we can rewrite it. Let's rewrite it over here. A cross B is going to be 27i minus 3j minus 9k. And we can also rewrite that as like the, the vector form like this, where it's um, 27 minus 3 minus 9. There we go. So that's also our cross product. It's really easy. I find this very simple. And it's as long as you remember 
positive and negative. What one start at the top, it's positive. Start at the bottom, it's negative. It's really simple. I think it's a little easier than remembering how to do determinants and you know all that stuff. So yeah, hopefully if you guys are using uh, vector cross products, you remember to use this method and I hope it helps you guys. Yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. Make sure to like the video, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and keep checking back for more stuff. I'll see you guys later. Bye.